What's going on guys, Tommy from Pizarro's PC is welcome back to another episode of Car Boot Craziness and I've also attended a toy show. Let's have a look at what I found. Welcome back guys, so as mentioned in last week's video, I was off to Manchester. I went to Manchester this weekend to visit my parents and my sister and family and um, I didn't really think about any boot sales or anything but something uh, kind of crazy happened. So basically I found out yesterday, on, uh, on Saturday I found out that there was a toy show at uh, Bolton the Macron Stadium, so obviously Bolton Wanderers Stadium. So that's about a 30 minute drive from my mum's house. So I asked my mum if I could borrow her car on a Sunday morning to go to Bolton to attend the toy show and then obviously come back and I had to catch a 12-15 train back from Manchester to London um, with my girlfriend. So I was on tight time but also at the macron arena was a car boot sale so there's a car boot sale on the outside and on the inside there was a toy shop so it was bp toy fairs so these are the same people that do sound down a uh, sound down race calls and uh, the nec as well which is obviously this coming sunday i will be at the nec um, pretty much all the dealers that i know are going to be there this weekend it's always a wicked show so guys before i start i'm just going to show you a few little bits and pieces that i picked up um, at the boot sale over the weekend and also at the toy show so first of all before i'd even got to manchester i picked this up now a lot of you have probably got this out out there but i've got this in wh mist 9.99 quite expensive for what it is but for us sort of people who are into our 80s our retro this is a really good read uh, it's called the ultimate retro collection um and it's just all about 80s uh, toys, consoles, um, movies, and music. So there's a big write-up on Star Wars, there's a big write-up on Masters of the Universe, Thundercats, um, Nintendo, My Little Pony, Speak and Spell. You know, there's, it's, it's really good, the Master System, Teenage Turtles, definitely worth getting 10 pound, a little bit expensive for what it is, but it's pretty cool. So that was uh, the first thing. <laughs> I didn't even get out of London and I found something. Um, when I was in Manchester on Saturday, we went to the town, uh, sorry, not Manchester, sorry, Oldham in Manchester. My parents and that live in Oldham. So we was in Oldham Town Centre and uh, we went to a shop that was closing down. Now, I think it was called Entertainment World. It does all DVDs and CDs. It was 75% off. So we bought quite a lot of DVDs. They were working at, if it was a pound, you were paying 25p, which is bugger all. And but I picked up these pretty cool CDs. One of them is the 80s movie album. And then this one is Film Themes, the ultimate collection four disc CD. I think I paid 50p for that and 25p for that. It was, this one's got four CDs on it. So you've got all tunes here. So you, what we got here, uh, we've got Jurassic Park. We have got E.T., Jaws, and plenty of others. So yeah, they were pretty cool find and very, very cheap. And also, while I was in town, I had to pick this bad boy up. Um, this one is actually in the box because I bought a couple of these. One for myself, and it's up. I already pulled it out and put it up on display. And uh, this one's for my mate Chris, Big C. Triple H, uh, WWE Elite figure. This is the WrestleMania version. This is a really, really good figure actually. I really like it. It comes with a belt and comes with a skull as well. So got one for Chris and got one for myself. So that's gone straight into the collection. Now, the boot sale. So I got to the boot sale at the Macron um, Arena, Bolton Wanderers Grand at seven, about 20 past seven. I, I was under the impression that people weren't allowed in until half seven. When I looked, there was obviously loads of dealers from the toy show. So the toy show hadn't even started yet, so all the dealers had come out, completely blitzed the place. But I did pick up a couple of little bits. I picked up these two little figures. So these are from like 1987. They made these in Spain, um, like little PVC figures, Marvel, 
done these are sort of same companies that done like the dungeons and dragons ones and that so we've got a little doctor doom there like i said they were exclusive to spain um i believe these figures and then we've got she hulk there as well i paid 25p each for them so I, I found them pretty quickly so i was quite pleased with them and then i found this as well now the guy who was selling this it's quite annoying the guy who was selling this also had a nez zapper the gun i said to him how much for the nez zapper I don't know, it's my friend's, uh, he'll be back in a minute. So I said, no problem. I said, how much for this, what, I'm point, what I've got here? He said, three pound. I said, all right, and I'll take it. When I've turned around, uh, a woman had picked up the zapper and had had it in her hand. And I just thought, it's too early for political dramas at the, or dramas at the boot sale to be rowing. So I've got this um, Lucy Locket uh, playset. So obviously Lucy Locket was uh, the bigger version of Polly Pocket. Um, the figure's not in here, but I've done a bit of research since I said it cost me three quid. Um, there is quite a lot in here, and I've done uh, little like, little bits and pieces. So I've done a bit of research since, and um, they go for quite good money. I'm quite surprised. So even empty without, I can't get it open now. There we go. Uh, without the character, there you go. Just giving you sort of the inside. There is some little bits and pieces down here, like a pot, a plate, a coat hanger. Um, they go for quite good money, sort of, you know, even like this, sort of 20 quid. Um, I've had to give it a good clean up because it was quite dirty, um, but yeah, three quid. They were my only finds at the boot sale, unfortunately. Not great, but I only spent uh, £3.50. So it is what it is. <laughs> I weren't expecting much from that boot sale. I went to the toy show, I was on a budget. I was in the toy show by uh, 10 to 8, I think it was. So uh, John of Jamorian Toys, he's on Instagram and that, uh, kindly sort of said that I can come in with him. He was stalling out so that I could sort of not have to pay, I think the early bird's seven pound or something. So um, I, I practically just walked straight into the show and obviously everyone was still sitting up. So I got a couple of pieces off of John, funny enough. Um, I got this Panthro from Thundercats. Now, the reason I got this is because I have a pair of nunchuckers for this guy somewhere in my stock. So obviously it makes sense for me to match them and then you've got a complete figure. Um, I also picked up this Terminator off of him for £2.50. Now I don't know where, this got no markings on it. He weren't entirely sure. Um, it's quite detailed. I thought it was Necker at first. I'm not I'm not entirely sure if anyone out there knows about this Terminator he has got one gun I think he was meant to have two um, but I'm going to put him in my collection down here with Robocop because he's about the same scale as my Necker Robocop um, and I also picked up uh, this Toy Biz Superman and he's got his cape as you can see not the best condition but my pal Rob at Robo Toys has already uh, claimed that off me because he wants it for his little boy um, so it's always good to pick bits up and pass them on immediately. So I've got them bits off of um, uh, John at Jamorian Toys, thanks for that. I also bumped into uh, Wayne and Damien, who are big Masters of the Universe collectors, so I know them through Facebook and everything, the, the He-Man community. Uh, great to meet them in person, because obviously you speak to people through social media and everything, so um, that was really, really good. I also got this, now this was, <coughs> excuse me, this was pretty much the only thing at the toy show I bought for myself. Um, everything else was, to put through the business. So this is the, um, I think this is the Marvel Select, I believe, anti-venom. So I haven't got this, I've got the Marvel Select Venom. Um, I think <clears throat> these normally go for about 15 quid, 15, 20 quid. I picked that up for seven quid. I was quite pleased with that, quite detailed. Uh, good, good toy. It's gonna be going on this shelf behind me at some point when I straighten it out. So yeah, pleased with that. I also picked up, a, the woman wanted to sell this as a lot, um, so I was, oh, dropped down there, so I was happy to take it as a lot. So we've got a mini Pikachu, and this is from the original 90s run of Pokemon. We've got a Pikachu rucksack, which I believe holds uh, the Game Boy in it. It's got like a compartment for the Game Boy and a couple of games. And also, along with that, we got Pokemon Blue on their Game Boy and a pink, pinkish, shall I say, uh, Game Boy Color in really, really good condition. £15 I paid. 
which ain't bad considering the game still goes for around sort of ten pound, ten to twelve pound. Game Boys go for fifteen, twenty pound, and then whatever for the plushes and the rucksack. So that was a really, really good price. I was really, really pleased with that. Um, I also picked up a load of Star Wars figures. Everyone keeps asking me why am I getting Star Wars? It's because I'm getting them at a good price. Uh, so I picked up seven carded. Um, modern-ish figures, the ones with the coins. So we've got this one here, which is the Ultimate Galactic Hunt Gold Coin Darth Vader. Um, again, Rob at Robo Toys has took that off of me already. Uh, we've got Han Solo here. We've also got uh, Chewbacca, a strange-looking Chewbacca. So these ones are quite popular generally. I've got a Rebel Trooper and an R2D2 and C3PO double pack. There we go. And then finally, I've got another Darth Vader and we've got Luke Skywalker and just a normal Darth Vader with the silver coin. Um, I got them at a decent price. So again, it's not, I don't collect Star Wars, these are, they're not for me. Uh, they're, they'll be coming to the NEC room next week. And I also picked up a, a bunch of loose figures. Now, didn't get a super price on these. I didn't get them for 50p each is what I mean. Um, but I've got them at a reasonable price enough for me to put them out and, and make a little bit of money on them. Um, so I've got a chunk of Toy Biz figures here, all from the same person, uh, but they're all loose. I've got tons of Toy Biz figures in stock carded. So first of all, we have Magneto, obviously from XN. We have um, a 1994 Iron Man here. I think that's Iron Man from the Iron Man animated series, if I'm not wrong. We have the Punisher. And he's got a gun as well. He's got the uh, Uzi with him. Paintwork's not great, but Punisher's a very popular character. We've got Captain America, which I have. I think I've got. I've still got about five or six of these carded. This particular one in different conditions. We've also got uh, Iceman. Again, I've got these on cards for sale. We've got the Flash, the obviously which is DC. I have uh, Apocalypse which is the extendable the yeah, extendable legs. Did his arms extend as well? I think they did. Yeah, when his legs come down. So Apocalypse again, another popular villain. And talking of popular vill villains, we got Juggernaut. A couple of people have asked me for this recently on card, um, but I, it's quite, he's, I've had it, but it goes straight away. Uh, we've got Daredevil, who's in really, really good condition. Again, I've got this in stock on card. I've definitely got this Cyclops on card. Um, and I've definitely got this Hulk on card as well. So, like I said, I have all these as well in stock on card, but it's good to have them loose. Not everyone wants carded figures. Uh, we've got Sabretooth. We have got Wolverine, the brown version, with his claws, retractable claws. Uh, we've got Aquaman. <laughs> oh, what's he doing? Let's have a look. What was he meant to do? Is that his legs? Yeah, oh dear. Poor Aquaman, he's not the most popular character, is he, to be fair. And then lastly, but not least, we've got, I think, I'm guessing that's Jean Grey, but this is quite a new one. Well, not new, but new compared to them, 99 figure. And we've got quite a cool Spider-Man here from 1992. It's Toy Biz as well, but it's got a hell of a lot of articulation compared to the, the normal Toy Biz figures. Wrists, elbows, shoulders. That's quite a good figure, that one. So yeah, I've got that lot, that job lot together, and I also picked it up with this He-Man. We have got uh, Battle Armor He-Man here. There we go, yeah, the Battle Armor still works. He's obviously got a blue sword with him, which came with a weapons pack, uh, but he's got a shield. His action currently, unfortunately, don't work. He's quite loose, but overall, he's not in bad condition. <sighs> He-Man at the minute super super popular a lot of people have their theories to why the netflix show has come out recently perhaps he's got really good legs um so yeah i'm gonna be selling him on i'm not too sure whether I'll, i might just take all the weapons and sell them separately and sell the figure separately um but yeah some pretty good uh finds at the toy show considering i weren't too sure what to expect it's not quite sound down it was quite quiet there was probably 10 to 12 stalls that sold action figures. The rest was trains and cars, which Sandown Park predominantly used to be, but now action figure dealers seem to be coming more and more. Um, 
which is obviously the younger generation, like you say, people sort of between their 20s and I'd say 40s, maybe 50s, and the cars and trains seem to be obviously the, the older generation. Um, but yeah, guys, that was that was pretty much it. Not, not a bad weekend overall for pickups, for myself and for the business, I'm quite pleased indeed. Um, I didn't think I was gonna do a video this week, to be honest with you, so I'm really pleased. Uh, so yeah guys uh, what are your thoughts on the bits i've picked up and let us know if any of you are going to be coming to the nec next sunday the following week i am at comic mart in london as well russell square um, don't forget you can follow me on all social media for all the latest updates as to where i'm going to be i'm on facebook instagram and twitter all the links are below guys thanks for the continued support thanks for watching and until the next video i'll see you then